Hello and welcome. You're watching the 8 o'clock news. I'm Sonal Merotra Kapoor. Let's bring you everything you need to know about this Christmas Eve. 378 Omicron cases in India, 114 recovered. No country can boost its way out of the pandemic, quotes the health ministry. This as cases are doubling between 1.5 to 3 days. 5 to 10 percent COVID positivity rate in at least 20 districts across the country. And globally, deaths have gone up to 26, 1.5 lakh Omicron cases. Hindutva activists, in fact, disrupt Christmas celebration. Goons claim school selective in celebrating Christmas. Curfew at night, but rallies in the day. That's the reality of Uttar Pradesh. Politicians brazen despite court's suggestion to delay the election. Girls in a Kerala school demand and get uniform treatment, gender neutral uniforms despite protests outside school. We want to be seen equal to boys, say the girls. And uh, this Christmas, let's bring you this all exclusive unplugged chat with Kylie Plog. And guess what? India is on her bucket list. I want chicken wiggy with you, boy. I want a chicken wiggy with you. Uh, 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 I want a chicken wiggy with you. I want a chicken wiggy with you, baby. Let's begin with the COVID numbers tonight and they are constantly rising. 378 Omicron cases in India. Remember, Omicron, not COVID at now and 114 out of those have recovered. In fact, government quoted the WHO today. That's the health ministry said that no country can boost its way out of a pandemic. Is that a hint over there where noise for a booster dose across the country is constantly rising? Government also said this at a time when cases of Omicron are doubling. The time taken for doubling of cases is between 1.5 to 3 days. At least 20 districts have been identified in the country where the positivity rate is over the worrying 5 to 10 percent. Remember, that's when the restrictions really kick in and restrictions have kicked in in several states. Globally, if you look at it, well, about 1.52 lakh cases over there and 26 deaths reported. Government, in the meanwhile, saying that Omicron has a growth advantage over Delta. Not saying much about how severe it is. But if you look at uh, the breakup of these numbers, about 183 Omicron cases only were analysed by the ministry. And they believe at least 27% of them had no travel history. Meanwhile, if we shift our focus to India when it comes to Omicron figures, uh, like I said, 114 people have recovered. Let's give you a breakup across states. Maharashtra there has maximum numbers, but remember this is because Maharashtra does test and very, very aggressively. So they are more and more transparent with their numbers, followed by Delhi, 67, Telangana has 38, the lowest over there coming in from Jammu and Kashmir, then Uttar Pradesh, just two. Well, hard to believe uh, that's the actual number, but uh, that's the figure we have at the moment from the state. And Uttarakhand also showing one, Ladakh one as well. That's about Omicron. Let's talk about COVID cases. Fresh cases in the country today were about 6,650 uh, in the past 24 hours. That's down by around 11.27%. Uh, Deaths are about 374. Vaccination, 62 lakh. Not a very impressive number at all. Tests also down and daily positivity rate is uh, less than 2% for the last 81 days. So, in this case, there are 22 cities in the country which are for us a concern for us. And from these cities, which are the cities in which we are in the country, we are in consultation, in the parameters. Globally, the case positivity is more than 6%. In India, the case positivity is 5.3%. So while these numbers are low, however, as I have submitted earlier, we must keep up our guard and we must be vigilant.
डब्ल्यू एच ओ ने एक ब्रीफिंग आयोजित की उसमें डब्ल्यू एच ओ के डायरेक्टर जनरल ने यह बोला कि यह डेल्टा वेरियंट के मुकाबले तेज रफ्तार से अधिक तेज रफ्तार से फैल रहा है उन्होंने यह भी कहा कि ब्लैंकेट यूज ऑफ बूस्टर डोजेज के प्रति सावधान रहने की आवश्यकता है क्यों उसका उन्होंने कारण दिया उन्होंने ये कहा नो कंट्री कैन बूस्ट इट्स वे आउट ऑफ द पेंडेमिक एंड बूस्टर्स कैन नॉट बी सीन एज टिकट टू गो हेड विद प्लान सेलिब्रेशन विदाउट द नीड फॉर अदर प्रिकॉशन In fact, uh, reports coming in of Gujarat also announcing a night curfew. We'll keep updating all of that on our website ndtv.com. So take a cue from that once you want to get the latest. Also, we talked about night curfew in UP, but what's happening there during the day? Well, 24 hours after Allahabad High Court urged the Election Commission and Prime Minister Narendra Modi to postpone the upcoming Uttar Pradesh Assembly elections by a month or two and to ban election-related gatherings in the state over fears. of the highly contagious variant actually spreading political rallies and events went on as usual and defiant netas passed the buck the state isn't seeing a major surge in covid cases yet but the state government says it is worried and has imposed a night curfew starting tomorrow but night curfew at night when all the rallies are happening during the day does that make any sense अध्यक्ष जी इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ने कल टिप्पणी की है कि चुनाव को लेकर सरकार को राय दी है उन्होंने राय दी है चुनाव होने के लिए होना चाहिए आपका क्या रिएक्शन है आपका क्या रिएक्शन है दी उत्तर प्रदेश बीजेपी चीफ रिफ्यूजिंग टू टेक क्वेश्चंस ओवर ग्रोइंग कंसर्न्स अबाउट एन ओमिक्रॉन ड्रिवन कोविड सर्ज इन द पोल बाउंड स्टेट फ्लैग बाय द इलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट ऑन थर्सडे व्हिच अर्ज द इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया and postpone the up assembly election due early next year ek constitutional position hogi aur jo bhi ek rpet ke madhy nazar jo bhi cheez hogi wo hum log usme definitely action lenge hum agle hafte uttar pradesh jayenge aur bhaam bhi hum sab samiksha karenge uske baad jo bhi uchit nirnay kiya jayega commission mein baithkar wo hum log karenge jahan tak mannya uch nyayalay ka prashn hai या माननीय निर्वाचन आयोग का प्रश्न है उस पर हम आप सहमत होंगे कि इस मंच पर कमेंट नहीं करना चाहेंगे 24 फोर आवर्स आफ्टर दाई कोर्ट ऑफ द वेशन देर वॉज नो चेंज ऑन द ग्राउंड इन द स्टेट रैलीज अक्रॉस द पॉलिटिकल स्पेक्ट्रम कैरीड ऑन एज यूजल विद हार्डली एनी कोविड प्रोटोकॉल बीजेपी यात्रा कंटिन्यू टूडे अक्रॉस उत्तर प्रदेश अ बहुजन समाज पार्टी मीटिंग वॉज हेल्ड इन प्रयागराज and the samajwadi party event took place in azamgarh chunav jab hota hai there were brazen justifications from politicians abhi aisi aisa ja is sthiti mein nahi badha hai ki party pehle se karke apna rok de high court ne bhi koi nirdesh nahi diya unhone bhi ek salah di hai iska nirnay election commission antatha karta hai pura covid kal mein covid kal mein hi to bangal ka chunav hua to samvidhanik badhta hai chunav chunav talne ki baat ये फैसला तो सबको मिलकर के लेना चाहिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी अपने हित के हिसाब से उनकी सरकार निर्णय लेने का काम करती है दी उत्तर प्रदेश गवर्नमेंट हैज री इम्पोस्ड अ नाइट कर्फ्यू स्टार्टिंग सैटरडे बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू पॉलिटिकल रैलीज एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल टर्निंग अप एट अनमास्ट विद जीरो कोविड प्रोटोकॉल इट सीम्स आर नेताज आर अनविलिंग टू वॉक द टॉक All right, shifting tracks back home after churches and prayer meets the Hindutva hooligans have now reached the corridors of schools in Karnataka. A peaceful Christmas celebration by students was interrupted by a group of Hindutva right-wing groups. This is a second attack on the day when the Karnataka Legislative Assembly passed the contentious anti-conversion bill. Here's a report. Hindutva activists shouting slogans getting into altercation with the principal of a Christian school the Nirmala English High School and College in town in Mandya district east of Bengaluru A peaceful Christmas celebration disrupted. They claim the school is selective 
in celebrating Christmas. One of the girls issues a warning. School management has filed a complaint with the Mandya police. However, no arrests have been made thus far. With the ongoing attacks on Christians, the Archbishop of Bengaluru, Peter Machado, now fears whether the Christian community can celebrate Christmas in peace. So without the legislation, if this can happen, you can imagine what will happen when the legislation is passed. Everyone will carry this legislation in their pockets and everyone will try to do justice, try to find faults with us for anything. Perhaps I don't think we can even celebrate Christmas properly. This is ninth such incident where Christians have been targeted since September this year and the second such incident in the past 48 hours since the BJP-led Karnataka government passed the controversial anti-conversion bill. In Bengaluru, Srija for NTTV. To battleground Uttarakhand now. Remember Harish Rawat, a Congress leader who was seen firefighting Congress leadership issues in Punjab. And very recently, he came in news for throwing out a rebellion against the Congress leadership because he wanted to be the lead for the Congress party in the Uttarakhand polls. Well, he managed to sort out that situation pretty quickly and today he was announced as the lead campaign face. Rahul Gandhi met with uh, Mr. Harish Rawat after his several tweets came out in absolute rebellion. He has now got the top position. But uh, party just stopped short of naming him the CM face, but he will be the lead face for the campaign. Rawat later told NDTV, I'm completely satisfied we all must be united. To Kerala now, as schools close for holidays, we bring you this season's newsmakers from Kurikot. Smart, fun, strong girls who demand for more comfortable uniforms and now wear similar shirts and pants as boys in school. Schools, despite initial protest outside their schools. Girls at Kori Court's Government Girls Higher Secondary School in Balusheri say it is more than a symbolic statement that they too, like the boys, now don shirts and pants to school. The girls say they love their unisex, gender-neutral uniform. This is one of the first government schools in the state to make this transition mid-term for senior students. I'm really comfortable and confident in this uniform and this uniform gives me more confidence uh, and um, this is easy to wear and easy for travelling also. Uh, the students say they themselves had asked for the change and the new dress code was implemented after much debate and discussion. Uh, actually, the second year students of this school wear the traditional uniforms, that is they wear a, a churidar and a waistcoat over that. And those students told us that it was very uncomfortable and we thought of changing the uniform and we made a suggestion before the PTA, Parents Teachers Association Committee and they wholeheartedly supported our decision for changing the uniform. There were initially some protests outside the school over what the girls should wear but the students insist they have a right to choose comfort. <laughs> Talking about the protest that is going on uh, outside our school, we have nothing to say. I think they are blind. Change is necessary. But people are not ready to accept change. Families have been supportive too. Uniform is a general neutral organization. And we are going to support the people. 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 Sneha Koshi for Indy TV. Pop star Kylie Minogue is out with a new album. It's titled Disco. And the music diva spoke exclusively with NDTV's Rohit Khilani about her album and even sang a few lines of one of her popular Bollywood numbers. Listen in. Um, you know, everybody has their favorite Kylie song. 
Uh, I just want to ask you if when you look back, which were the songs that were like a turning point in your career? Well, I would have to start with the locomotion because that was my first. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I didn't even have a record contract. I just recorded it as a demo okay. with some dreams. Um, so locomotion, but then once I was up and running, uh, better the devil you know, for sure. Mm -hmm. Then confide in me. Uh, there's a few, then spinning around. <laughs> right. Then, I know I would say those are the three. Those are the Probably three, right. And then comes, uh, then comes disco. Uh, do you want to tell the audience that's watching this interview right now, what all should they expect in this one? What to expect from disco? Um, you might not be sitting down very long. <laughs> the album only has, I think, like two not so up moments. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to do a deep dive into disco, mm -hmm. which wasn't quite as straightforward as I may have thought initially. You know, when you're referencing incredible, timeless disco songs, mm -hmm. disco classics, um, it took a while to, uh, yeah, to, to find my entrance point without just sounding like a terrible copy of an amazing disco <laughs> song. Um, you know, not to go, well, that's the bass line from that or that's the, the, the guitar lick or, you know, um, yeah, it's find my way. So it's, a, it's mostly a disco party. Kylie, on NDTV, we have never had a singer and not asked them to sing a few lines. Do you think you can sing just two lines for our viewers who are watching this? Video? Oh, my gosh. Which song? Um, your wish. Your well, song. well, okay. Can I do two? <laughs> you can do the three. The first one. I think you're gonna know. La 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 la. That's the easy one. Okay. I just can't get you out of my head. Boy, your loving is all I think about. And then the other one is. Right. <laughs> I wanna take it, take it with you, boy. I wanna take it, take it with you. Uh, uh, uh. I wanna take it, take it with you. I wanna take it, take it with you, baby. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love seeing people dance to Chiggy Wiggy. Absolutely um, beautiful, beautiful. I probably, I probably sang that uh, early incorrectly. All I ever sing is, I want to Chiggy Wiggy with you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the, Kari, I, all I can say is that the magic is still very much there. We would love to see you in India. We would love to see you perform. Well, yes, it's on my, it's on my bucket list. I haven't performed in India. Yeah. Um, it, it amazes me that you know my songs and and you're waiting with open arms so i can't wait to come and visit.